just been doing the menu. Don't freeze frame that one. Uh, for those of you that know me, I, I do movement snacks better than I do edible snacks, by the way. <laughs> Should we see about two minutes? Um, if you have a cushion to hand and, and uh, a, a kind of flannel or cloth, something like that, we're going to repeat some of the ankle strengtheners and wrist strengtheners that we did yesterday, I think. So if you do have a cushion, any cushion will do. Something something you just get your hands around and give it a squeeze. You could call it a virtual hug at the moment. I have a, flat, a, a joint flannel hug, maybe. <laughs> yeah, who's feeling, uh, who's feeling these snacks? who's feeling that they've moved their muscles, their joints a little bit more than they, they normally do. I think after this morning's breakfast snack, I uh, presented the mission of doing a few more extra sit to stands or sitting a little bit slower. So you may be doing the same amount of chair raises, but perhaps you're controlling that the sit a little bit more now. So it doesn't have to be more of them, but perhaps the ones you are doing are optimizing a little bit more strength. What should we say? 30 second warning. And then we will go. I have a little adrenaline rush when I say that. Even my heart goes up a bit. Yes, Dawn, Dawn Skelton just uh, mentioned we're, we're, we're getting some really encouraging and a great, wonderful, all those overused uh, adjectives, but it, it's true. So you're feeding back to us how this is going for you. Improvements, really great. We're capturing all these. It's important that we can capture the impact of this little initiative, this mission that we've started, that you've all started, it's your fault. Your fault you're here. We just planted a seed of an opportunity and you all said yes. Right, should we do it? Ready, steady? Welcome, good afternoon. My name is Bex Townley. Welcome to week two, day eight, movement snack two. Um, that's a lot for my my head to, to get around. We're in the second week, day eight of the whole mission, movement snack two today. How's your morning? How are you after this morning's movement snack? It's great to hear that some of you are maybe not with us at eight o'clock, but that's okay. You can go back to the snack, either here on Facebook or on YouTube, crowbar it into your day wherever you want. The aim is to accumulate additional movement minutes over and above any activities you're already doing and in this little 10 minutes we have an opportunity to, opportunity to be more mindful of how we're moving and perhaps I can give you some prompts and pointers around optimizing those movements for daily life, looking to improve movement mobility, starting to consider strength and balance on feet if we can. So pick your position, I'm back in the, the lounge today with the comfy chair so um, we can perhaps if, if this is the only chair you have in the house to just understand how, how perhaps difficult or move, uh, difficult movement can be and how we can support getting out of chair in the big, the big comfy ones. We're going to start with our usual little bit of circulation boost. Select whether you want to sit or stand. Change at any time. Work at your own pace. The right pace is your pace. And... Let's go. I just want to show how in this very deep chair that I ordinarily would fall right back in, I'm just going to give myself a, a little bit of a, a change on the arm. So now when I sit down, I'm already in a position. So if I need to release or rest my posture, now when I take a little pit stop, I don't, I don't fall 
all the way back. So I can move in and out of these recovery positions easier and get on with the movement. So our seated position is forward in the chair as you can see and we're going to start with our circulation boosting really looking to articulate the feet and the ankles so the feet come up the footfall is important if you're tall and if your chair is low that might feel a bit of a squeeze in here so it might be more comfortable to extend and place the heel so we're just looking to boost the circulation just for a minute or so keep going on that if you're in this in the chair and you can alternate between the two if you're stood Pick your position, take up some solid support if you need, lift and open the posture and again start on that circulation boost. However much support you need, you can turn side onto the wall so you can just keep contact here or you can just be close to the wall without touching. Steady pace march, driven from the feet, so really trying to pick up the heels and the feet each time. Can we have a little bit more arm? So this could be one or two, and you're focusing on the backward press here. Keep going on that in standing, and it's the same in seated. Now, if you have arms on the chair, it might be easier to, to just lightly bring the hands together, and you can guide the elbows inside of the arms of the chair. Take a pause. So after that circ boost, we should just feel a, a little injection of, <sighs> yep, I'm ready to go. Make the more movements smaller. Don't want you out of breath here. This shouldn't be uh, a heavy workload on heart and lungs, but you can certainly feel, yeah, I need to take a deep breath. This is good. Uh, can we have uh, some trunk mobility, please? So in the chair position, this is our turn around. Backside of the chair, feet flat on the floor. Bring the arms with you for this one. Just walk it round, pause in the middle and start to bring in these arms. This will help making it a functional movement. In standing, it's the same. A wider stance for balance. Relax the arms, turn around. I can just keep contact on support if I want to. And then the other. Again, lots of options. It's just really for you to understand what you need to make you feel more confident to stand and move more freely. And quite often, just a fingertip touch or just being close to the wall helps give the brain a little bit more information to help with that confidence in stand. Okay, I want to add something now to our trunk and our shoulder mobility. Um, let's just take uh, a couple of shoulder rolls up, back and down, just before we start. We've done these pretty much every morning set, up, back and down, up, back and down, as big and as comfortable as you can, squeezing the shoulder blades behind, and the same in standing. Okay, now we're just going to take some, some upward reaches, so just bringing the fingertips to the shoulder, support the arm if you need, and just take a reach forward and up, and then come back down. So we're making this more of a mobility movement than the type of stretch that we've been talking about in these days. Support it if you need, reach out to the front if you need, if it's not comfortable to go up. In general, slightly forward, so I can always see my hand. And in standing, it'll be here, or again, you can turn and face the wall and actually have one fingertip on the wall and then reach up. So you have this kind of action. We're just starting to bring in the functionality of the mobility and the flexibility and the balance. Okay, that's enough in the, in the top half. Let's get down to some legs and starting to consider leg strength. So here's the options. We have our, our sit to stand, the jockey lift, and the knee bends. Here's all three, have a look, and then you can choose which one you want. The full standing option, forward in the chair, this will make it easier to stand. Heels back and down, this will make it easier to stand. Lift and open the posture, hinge and drive forward and up, get your balance, 
and then feel for the chair and we're after a slow return. Fingertips here if you need, I want to keep looking ahead if I can and I want the legs to do the work on the first few. Just pick once, three times or five times or a few more if you're happy to. Keep going on that if that's your option. If you're strong, steady and good for that sit to stand, remember you can make it slightly harder again by changing the foot position if you prefer. If the full stand isn't on your menu today, that's okay, we can build towards that. So we have our jockey lift, as if we're gonna stand but we're not. Try to utilize the legs as much as you can, squeeze through the heels, and if you wanna put your hands on your thighs and give them a squeeze, you can, you can feel these, this is how the muscles work to power us up. If you are able to get one good strong one out today, Let's go round to the support and then we've been working on the, the top end of the movement. So in the chair we worked on that initial push up, now we're working on the, the full extension. Heels down, chest lifted, hands on support, bend and stand. And if you want to, let's bring in that upward reach again. So this is a bend, a stand and a functional squeeze. Can you see? Bend, stand, slightly forward. So we're bringing in lots of movements. In seated, we can do similar. We can take the jockey lift and lower, and then I can take the reach and release. If it's more comfortable, again, hands together and just extend forwards, perhaps. Jockey lift, lower, extend. Keep this moving, this arm reach. If you want to add something into that, it's a reach and grab and a turn, like you're plucking an apple from a tree. So the reach and it turns and it comes back and we've added even more functionality to that as well. It's like turning a, a doorknob or plucking an apple, as it were. Um, okay, two more if I may. Ankle strength and wrist strength, and we did this yesterday. So we, we've spoken a lot about uh, the, the ankles and how they help us walk and how we need to articulate the ankle movement. We need to consider some other ranges of movement as well. For this one we need a cushion, just to put between the knees like so. And in this one we want to strengthen the outside and the inside of the ankles. So if you consider if you were walking on a on a camber of the road or a slope or uneven surfaces, our ankles need to do a lot more than just go forwards and back. We also need to cope with these change of surfaces. So squeeze out and up, and this movement will feel quite small, but also quite intense. So just pick one or two of these if it's your first time. And don't be concerned if you have some, some light muscle soreness tomorrow. This, this is what we can expect to feel when muscles work in new ways. So that's our ankle strengthener. Up, down, in, up. Good. Uh, we do a little bit of wrist also. So this takes a rolled up flannel like so. For now we want a light grip and you can see I'm, I'm relaxed everywhere else. I've got it here. I've aligned my fingers. Squeeze and release is the first step. Squeeze and release. Give the fingers a release. Just again, a couple of, this is the first time you've, you've actually tried to get a big squeeze. Just take a couple each day. If you feel you're confident and comfortable with that, we can then add the turn and it's a turn. The, can you see the, the wrists come together? So the, the wrists stay firm. So it's almost as if my elbows come in and I'm trying to strengthen the wrist by keeping them firm. And in standing, obviously it's the same, all with support. If you can just stand up, give yourself some support and give that a go. I think that's it. I think that's it on the, on the snack. Oh, I just wanted to do one more thing. Can I? Can I have one more minute? If you have this calendar, you will see that in April, 
we have this exercise uh, movement called a uh, wall press okay what I'm trying to do is is get us to consider wrist mobility we do these in the four o'clock sessions and starting to get some strength in the wrists also so could you just have a little go just before we go if you just put your hands flat on the thighs here and just just add a little bit of pressure into the hands like so or even on the chair here just start to feel around the arms of the chair how do your wrists feel if you're confident in stand to explore this we just place the hands on and start to just to get our wrists used to being see how our wrists are in that range of movement and we'll come back to some wrist action at four o'clock tonight was that a 10 minute or an 11 minute that's it i'll see you at four o'clock keep talking to us keep telling us how it's going thank you very much for joining in today and i think i'll be back in the dining room at four four movement snack number three of week two thank you very much goodbye <laughs>